this is Justin Jacobson with Restoration Games. Uh, we're here at the Gamma Trade Show and uh, we're showing off a few things. Uh, a lot of people, of course, are asking about Fireball Island. Uh, so this is a friendly reminder. It's coming to Kickstarter April 3rd. We're excited to be bringing it back. So for those of people who don't know, Restoration Games, we take old out of print mass market games from the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, modernize them and bring them back. Fireball Island, the three-dimensional adventure from Milton Bradley. And from the time we started the company, one of the most requested things for us to bring back was indeed Fireball Island. Now, I think a lot of that was Tom uh, Vassal pushing it on people, but uh, certainly very popular and we've been getting a great response to it. Uh, we just recently revealed that there are three expansions that will be coming out for Fireball Island at launch time and available in the Kickstarter. There are three different uh, levels, if you will. We've got a bigger one, a sort of a medium one, and then a little one. And uh, we just revealed today the medium one is the last adventurer. The whole idea behind uh, the new Fireball Island is that it's 30 years later in the timeline and that uh, the island has been taken over by an adventure tourism company uh, and they're making a nice resort on the island and don't worry about Volcar, they've got top people from corporate working on it. And so you're the lucky tour VIP tourist who get to go on the island as part of the soft open, if you will. And uh, of course, everything goes horribly wrong. Uh, but when we add the last adventurer in, he's the real legit hero adventurer. He's been trapped on the island for 30 years. And uh, he basically says, come with me if you want to live. And uh, what he adds gameplay wise is another mini, uh, which also opens it up for a fifth player to play. Uh, so the base game is two to four players. If you want to play with a fifth player, you can get this uh, expansion. It adds that in addition to some more content in terms of souvenir cards and things like that, and a couple of different marbles. So we have snakes, of course. Why did it have to be snakes? Uh, which are small green marbles that get placed around the island and can get dislodged by the other marbles. Uh, so when Volcar sends a fireball out, it can knock over some of the snake marbles, which can in turn knock over some of the players and bite them and poison them and things like that. And then on, to go the other way, we have a much larger quote unquote marble a giant boulder, of course, uh, and it's a, um, much larger than the regular marbles, uh, regularly shaped, and uh, when you roll it down uh, from Volcar Point, it sort of wibbles and wobbles all over the place, and you're not 100% sure who, what it's going to knock over or where it's going to end up, and uh, so it adds a, a bit of chaos there, too. Um, and we have two more expansions that we'll be announcing in the next week or so. Uh, that will add some other different little bits to it. Uh, one adds a little bit of a dexterity element to it, and the other one adds a whole new place to explore. Uh, uh, sunk, uh, an abandoned, wrecked pirate ship with a really, really cool physical mechanism I cannot wait to show off, so stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for that. Excellent. Good? That's brilliant. All right. I, like I said, I could ramble longer, but I didn't know. You can. <laughs> I mean, listen. <laughs>